Hello and welcome to Baking on a Budget. In this video we are going to be making this simple jam Swiss roll cake. Also known as a jam roly-poly. This is a very simple cake to make and it's absolutely delicious. So let's get on to it. The ingredients are just over here and I'll go through those, tell you how much of everything there is and how much it costs. And the conversions for all of this are in the description below the video. We have 80 grams of plain flour at four pence. We have one teaspoon of baking powder at three pence. We have three eggs at 39 pence. We have 80 grams of sugar at 10 pence. We have two tablespoons of vegetable oil at four pence. And we have 100 grams of seedless jam at 25 pence. So the total cost of this recipe is 85 pence. I'm saying we're going to get five very nice slices out of that, making this about 17 pence per slice. Now just quickly, other things we'll need for this recipe, we'll need a flat baking tray like this one. This is, I believe, 8 inches by 12 inches. And we'll also need a mixing bowl. And for this recipe, I'm going to use one of these. Rarely do I use electronic equipment, but this, the batter for this really needs to be uh, mixed very well. And the best way I've found to do that is with one of these hand whisks. Now, I was lucky enough to inherit this one uh, many years ago and it's still going strong but I believe you can pick these up fairly reasonably they're about eight pound in Asda these days and it's worth having one for meringues uh, to do a mousse with and to do this sort of uh, batter which requires a lot of air in it. So to get started with this first of all we want 80 grams of sugar and I'm going to do this in this jug it's just much easier to get that in the jug. Now we've got the 80 grams of sugar and we want the three eggs um, another point I have been asked on where I get these eggs so cheap at only 13 pence a piece and I get these from Asda. Um, Asda are currently selling 15 eggs for £1.99. Okay, so with the eggs and the sugar in there I'm just going to mix this up. Now we want to mix this up into a fairly creamy consistency and it probably wants to be put under power for about five minutes. Very important to get a lot of air in this. About five minutes later, that's looking nice and creamy. And the only other thing we want to do with that is pop the oil in and then give that a little mix in also. And with that done, I'm just going to pour this into the bowl. You can see how beautiful and creamy that mixture is. All right, that's going in the bowl. Get it all out. And the next thing we want to do is just sieve in the flour and baking powder. To that I'm adding one teaspoon of baking powder and we're just going to sieve that into the mixture. Now we want to very gently fold the flour into this batter. We want as much air to remain in this mix as possible and this will make for a beautiful light Swiss roll. We have it. A couple of minutes later all of the dry ingredients are mixed in. You can see there's bubbles in that it's very light and that's exactly how we want it. The next thing we want to do is just prepare this tray. So I'm going to give it a very light coat of lard on the bottom and along the sides like that. And we have this greaseproof paper or parchment that we're going to put into the tray and press that right into the corners. We'll just put a very light coating of lard on the top of that greaseproof paper also. There we are. That's ready to go. We're going to take our mixture and simply pour it into the tin. And we just want to move that really without pressing too hard into the corners of the tin. Now this is going to go into an oven at 180 degrees centigrade. There are conversions in the description below. This is a conventional oven I'm using at 180 degrees centigrade and it wants to be in there for no longer than 10 to 15 minutes. We just want to keep an eye on it, it will go golden brown and when it's got a nice sponge sort of push back in the middle that will be good. Alrighty now just over about 12 minutes later this is the show so far and what we're going to do is turn this out, cut the edges off and then put it all together. And what we want to do first with that is just lift it out of the tin It'll still be very warm. We can get rid of this baking tray. And then, as I say, what we want to do is just cut the edges off this because the edges normally go quite
quite crisp and this will make it a little bit more difficult to roll up so the birds are in for a treat today we just want to cut just anything which is hardened off there and as I say these will go out in the back lane for the birds and I'm sure they'll find them absolutely delicious you want to get another sheet of grease proof paper here and we want to turn this over onto this sheet like so and very carefully just peel the back off now whilst that's cooling slightly I'm just going to warm up the jam on the uh, hob this is 100 grams of seedless jam and as I say I just want it to soften a little uh, because that cake is very very um, light and if the jam is too hard it has the potential to break the cake into pieces so if we heat that up we'll just get it nice and runny doesn't want to boil or anything like that we just want to get it nice and runny so it will spread easily before putting the jam on I'm just going to roll this up with the paper first of all and I'm going to leave it to cool for a couple of minutes and that will help it to retain its shape once we put the jam on. A couple of minutes later, my jam is still nice and runny. That's good to go. And as I say, this will just help it with, um, with muscle memory, really, to um, roll it up better when we have the jam inside of it. So we want to distribute the jam on here. And can I just say, as always, whilst I'm doing this, if you're enjoying the video, please do give it a thumbs up. This really helps the channel a lot. And if you would like to see more videos of, like, of this nature in the future, do consider subscribing to the channel. Many more recipes to come, and many more recipes already up on the channel, actually. And also, as I say, for everyone who has subscribed so far, I do thank you very much. This is really appreciated. I know that many of you are trying these recipes, and the feedback from them is superb. So thank you very much for that. Now, we want to roll this up. And this time we want to do it with the paper on the outside, obviously. So I'm going to take this first part of it and crunch that up and then just roll it all the way. That's fantastic. Look at that. Now, we want to keep it wrapped up in its paper for just a short while longer like that until that fully cools and then it will stay in shape and that will be one superb jam swiss roll and there it is this is looking delicious this is a beautiful light sponge now i'm serving this with a little bit of custard could have it plain could have it with some cream many different things you could do with that i'm going to take a taste cannot wait to take a taste of that and just find out what that is like mm. Mmm, that is fantastic. Um, that is fresh out of the oven. It's beautiful, light, sweet. The jam is wonderful, warm jam in the middle of it. Wow. That's a very simple dish to make and it is absolutely delicious with a little custard. Mmm. Now, as I say, if you've enjoyed the video, if you're enjoying watching me eat this, uh, do give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And if you get a chance, try this recipe. You will not be disappointed. Mm. And as I say, this slice of beautiful jam Swiss roll or jam roly poly, 17 pence. A little bit more of the custard. I'm not sure how much the custard was, but the cake itself, 17 pence. So as ever, I thank you for watching. Uh, many more videos to come. Now I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. Thank you very much. That was delicious.